So today I thought just for fun I would take a BDSM test uh, live, or at least recorded live, and this comes at the suggestion of one of my viewers, Daniela. So thank you, Daniela, for giving me the idea. Um, this is going to be just me sort of taking the test and reading off the questions and that kind of thing. Um, but when it comes to actually figuring out where you sit in relation to your partner, a good thing to do is not to take a test so much, but to go over a very finely detailed checklist of different activities and different interests. You know, you and your partner take this checklist off to different rooms, fill it out, come back, compare, discuss, etc. A very good checklist can be found in Screw the Roses, Send Me the Thorns on pages 67 and 68. It's very finely detailed and very formal, but it covers just about all the bases you could imagine and definitely opens up the pathways to discussion with your partner. But that being said, I'm going to take the BDSM test on BDSMtest.org, which seems to be a, a standard test. I think I've seen it before. I may have taken it a long time in the past. I'll leave a link in the description for anybody else who'd like to take it. So, here we go. What are you biologically? I am a male. What do you identify as? Oh boy, well, I am a male. What is my age? I am currently 37. Country, not that it matters. State, I'm not going to say. Uh, I don't know why they're asking that, but whatever. Uh, sexual orientation, uh, well, I'm heterosexual. Prefer. Wait. Oh, strictly, okay, good. Strictly heterosexual. Took me a second there. Main BDSM orientation. What you personally feel that fits you best when in doubt, pick other. Oh, I am a dominant. That's for sure. Okay, all that out of the way. Not quite sure why they had me fill out my state, but whatever. Next. Okay, here we go. I sometimes enjoy being forced to do things that I strongly dislike. I absolutely disagree. I prefer making the sexual decisions for my partner, as this gives me more control. I absolutely agree. I like to be dominated, especially in the bedroom. Absolutely disagree. I like receiving pain during sex and seeing the results of it. Marks, bruises, makeup running my tears, etc. Um, I don't mind being bit or, you know, get a hickey or get scratch marks on my back kind of thing, so I'm going to say... Um, neutral on that one. It's not a necessity, but I don't mind it necessarily. If I could make some money from selling porn clips of myself, I definitely would. Uh, that would be a probably not. So that's going to be in the uh, almost absolutely disagree. I, I don't think anybody would want to see me, and I don't know if I'd want anybody else to see me. <laughs> I want to worship my partner as my god, goddess, and my religion. Uh, no, I mean, I, I treat my women like they are queens or princesses, depending on the situation, but I'm not a worshiper in that fashion, so mostly disagree. I, fe uh, I like to feel that I am older slash mentally stronger, bigger, further in life than my partner. Um, no? I, no. I, I like having a submissive who is my equal, if that makes any sense. You know, I'm not, I'm not looking for someone who's weak in their real life, necessarily. Uh, I mean, it's not that I would turn away someone because they have problems. I mean, I've got problems, but... I don't have any sort of specific fetish or non-standard sexual turn-on. Um, no, I'd have to disagree with that, too, for the most part. I mean, my, my fetishes, I think, are fairly standard... But I've got one or two that are probably a little darker than others, so mostly disagree. If I could not fulfill all of my partner's sexual desires, I would encourage them to see other people to fill the gaps. Absolutely disagree. Um, I am monogamous. If there was any possibility for other people to be involved, it would be an extra person between us and not us going to other people separately. I like to have my partner totally helpless at my disposal, physically unable to resist what I do. Um, I do like that, so yes. It's not the only thing, but I do like it. I don't like making decisions sexually. I prefer my partner to make them for me. Um, in the realm of power exchange, that would be an absolutely disagree. 
I prefer having different roles at different times over having a fixed role in the bedroom. I'm I go I go two ways basically, either completely dominant or I am perfectly fine sometimes with just being completely vanilla. That's not really a role though. So I would say as far as roles are concerned, I'm pretty well set. So absolutely disagree. Next. I feel that my partner is older, mentally stronger, bigger, further in life than me. Or I, oh sorry, I like to feel. Um I no, mostly I I don't like I said I don't really that doesn't really occur to me. I want my partner to serve me and address me as a, as a superior. Um, I do like that. It's not necessarily required per se, but I do like that quite a bit. So almost absolutely agree. I could be sexually submissive now and be sexually dominant another time, either the same or to another partner. This is what we call a switch. I am definitely not a switch, so no. I feel like I would need to find someone to guide me around this whole kink BDSM thing. Um, in the sense that I want to have a partner to further explore that side of me, and hopefully as well with them, um, yes, but not in the sense that I'm so lost in the woods. So I'm going to put it as kind of agree. I am willing to try anything once, even if I don't think I will like it. I'm not really that willing. I'm not totally against it, so this is going to be a mostly disagree. I enjoy feeling like a prey hunted by a predator. No. I believe that public masturbation should not necessarily be criminalized. Ah, uh, no. I would like to have sex with multiple people at the same time. In my fantasies, yes. Practically speaking, I probably would not want to do that. Um, but would I like to? Yes. <laughs> the idea of being tortured sexually is appealing. Not for me. I would love to own a slave that I could lend rent out to other people for kinky sex and they have no say in it. No, I am monogamous. I will naturally take on a nurturing and guiding almost parental role in a relationship. I have had that habit. So I will agree that that is something that I tend to do. Not as a matter of course, but sometimes that's just happened that way. I like to be given rules by my partner on what to eat, how to dress, etc. No, that's what I do to my partner. If I felt a project or website contributed significantly to the BDSM community as a whole, I would be willing to make significant financial donations to it. Um, maybe. So I'm going to put that as a neutral. I don't know. It depends on the circumstances. S a significant financial donation to it. I don't know what that means. I feel the need to serve my partner and treat them with the highest respect, addressing them as a superior. No. I like to dominate my partner, especially in the bedroom. Yes. I want my partner to worship me as their god, goddess, and their religion. Ah, uh, no, I'm not quite... My, my ego does not need that much propping up. I am willing to pay for porn if it really suits my sexual interests. These days? Hell no. I can find porn for free everywhere. I can enjoy both the giving and receiving end of at least one BDSM action. Um, yes. Of course, yeah, this is sort of a basic test. I like inflicting pain during sex and seeing the results of it. Marks, bruises, makeup running by tears, etc. Um, yes. I enjoy being in the headspace of an animal or a child where I don't have to worry about human adult. No, no. I like to be sexually degraded and humiliated by my partners sometimes. Um, no. I enjoy playing a different age than what I technically am. No. I like to be completely in charge in the bedroom and order my partner around. Yes. I like my partners to be completely in charge in the bedroom ordering me around. No. Uh, so this is page four of eight. So we're halfway, we're almost halfway done. I enjoy being verbally degraded or called humiliating names during sex. Not really. I guess it depends on the situation, so I'll be mostly disagree. Um... I believe that there is a natural order of things which dictates that men are dominant and women are submissive. No, I don't believe that. Um, well, uh, in a biological sense, on the broad strokes, so to speak, yes, but when it comes to BDSM, I don't think that necessarily matters. So that's kind of an ambiguous question. So 
in my interpretation of it, given the test, I'm going to say, well, wait, no, I believe there's a natural order which dictates somewhat agree. You know, it, it depends on what we're talking about. The, the question's too ambiguous, but anyway. There is no reason why sex would have to happen in private spaces isolated from the outside world. Um, uh, yeah, there's plenty of reasons, like the law. <laughs> I often behave in animalistic ways during sex, growling, howling. I have been known to growl a little, but it's not a constant thing, so I'll uh, slightly agree. In an ideal relationship, I should have no hard limits. My life should belong to my partner, and they should decide what is good for me. Um, no. Not, not on my side of the things, anyway. I do not feel that I can ever abuse my partner. They are my property, and any use that I see fit is proper use. I don't agree with that philosophy. Of course, it depends on the negotiation and everybody's understandings of things, but yeah. I like to sexually degrade and or humiliate my partner sometimes. Oh, very much so, yes. I need a gentle and loving dominant. Nope. I currently have nobody I can talk to about my darkest fantasies and would love to find someone to talk to. Ah, this is mostly true. I'm currently without a partner and uh, my darkest fantasies I don't get to... Explore much at all. I currently have... Oh, wait. Oh, this... Oh, wait. I skipped a question. I apologize. I need a gentle and loving dominant who foremost treats me like I'm a little treasure. No. Then we get to I currently have nobody. Right. Um, oh, if you click that, optionally enter your email address if you would like us to inform you opportunities related to this question. No, I'm not going to do that. Interesting. I would like it when my partner is completely tied up during sex. Yes. Okay. Being treated with little or no respect during sex arouses me. Um, well, see, this is uh, this is depends on the circumstances. I mean, in the sense of, like, I'm not being given the role of a dominant, but if I'm role-playing and the idea is, is that the, my partner's resisting and sort of calling me names to try to kick me off or something, then that, that's part of the fun. But in general... Uh, I will disagree. I enjoy being kept as a pet. No. Okay, so we're halfway done. On to page five. I find the romantic aspect in a relationship much more important than the sexual or kinky aspects. I... Yes, but they're almost like equal parts to the same recipe, so a little bit beyond neutral on that one. I enjoy people seeing me naked or having sex, even or especially when they don't didn't intend to do so. No, I'm a very private player, let's say. Talking back to one's dominant in a teasingly or disobeying way should be part of the sub's fun. Sure. If that's what works for them, sure. I like to submit to my partner 24-7 and see serving them as my life purpose. No. Being in fear of what my partner's going to do to me physically is arousing. Um... No, because I'm on the other end of that. I hope it's the I hope it's the case for my partners. I enjoy dressing or behaving like a child. No. I like to be totally helpless at my partner's disposal. No. I enjoy feeling like a predator hunting its prey. Very much so. Sex with me is often a physical fight for dominance during which very few things are off limits. Um not really. No. I enjoy my partner being in the headspace of an animal or a child where they don't have to worry about human adult things. Um, see, mostly. I mean, not completely. I mean, that's kind of... If, if they are compliant and they are enjoying themselves and they're sort of like lost in the fantasy, that's great. Physically restricting my partner during sex with clothes, attributes, ropes, change is arousing. Yep. It's no big deal when things I try turn out bad for me. It's part of the risk, and it's a necessary part of discovering what works and what doesn't. I agree. 